hello welcome again to my channel uh, let us continue looking at Kirchhoff's laws so we are told using Kirchhoff's laws determine the value of i1 i2 and i3 for the network shown below so this is our network here and you can see we have two loops these are loop one these are loop two so when you consider this source this source here we will have uh, the current flowing from the positive terminal up to this junction then uh, when we reach this junction we have some current passing through this path and some other current following the other the other path then you can still see that uh, we have the positive terminal here so current will be flowing from the positive terminal when it reaches this junction some current will follow this path and then the other path so on this side when it follows this path we have a complete loop when we, the current follows the other path we'll have a complete loop that's what we have so from cutoff's current law you find that uh, this total current coming towards this junction i1 should be equals to the total current leaving the same junction because we have i3 leaving this junction we have i2 leaving this junction meaning that from our kcl i1 is equals to i2 plus i3 that's that is always the first thing that you should do for you to solve this kind of a, of a network then the next thing we're going to have equations from loop one and loop two and we'll start with loop one so that uh, so that when you look at this loop we have two supply voltage that is 4 and 12 so we need to take the summation of the two of them we will have 4 plus 12 which is 16 so 16 v is equals to the sum of all the drops in that loop so the drop that is caused by the 0 0.5 ohm resistor is 0 0.5 times i1 so i'll have 0 0.5 i1 plus the drop that is caused by 2 ohm resistor is 2 times I2. So this is 2 I2. And this one becomes our equation 2. Sorry, equation 1. 16V is equals to 0 0.5 I1 plus 2 I2 is our equation 1 from the cutoff's voltage law. Let us look at loop 2. For loop 2, the supply is 12. So we'll have... 12V is equals to the sum of all the voltage drops in this loop. So the drop that is caused by 2 ohm resistor is 2I2. But you can see when uh, we reach this junction, this current is flowing in this direction. But And we still have other another current, I3, coming towards this path. So the two of them are against the direction. That means we're going to subtract that voltage drop. So we'll have minus 5i3 simply because the two of them are opposing the direction. So we subtract that drop. Then from there, I will replace i3 because from cutoff's current law, i1 is equals to i2 plus i3. That means this i3 is i1 minus i2. So I'll have 12v is equals to 2i2 <laughs> minus 5 i3 is i1 minus i2 let us open the bracket 12v is equals to 2 i2 minus 5 i1 minus minus becomes plus 5 i2 let us collect the like terms 2 plus 5 is 7 so 12v is equals to 7 i2 minus 5 i1 we can rearrange this equation so that we always start with I1. So 12V is equals to minus 5I1 plus 7I2. This becomes our equation 2. So we have formed two simultaneous equations. We have formed two simultaneous equations. And so we're going to solve the two uh, simultaneously. And in this case, I can I can just use elimination method so that 
I can eliminate I2 and I have to ensure that the coefficients of I2 are the same. But in this case, they are not the same. So if they are not the same, I'll just pick the first equation and multiply by 7 and the second equation by 2. So 0 0.5 times 7 0 0.5 times 7 is uh, 3.5 I1 plus 7 times 2 is 14 I2 is equals to 16 times 7 is 112. Then we have minus 5 times 2 is minus 10 I1 plus 7 times 2 is 14 I2 is equals to 12 times 2 which is 24. Then for us to eliminate I2, we will subtract the two equations so that 14 minus 14 becomes a 0. Then I have 3.5 minus minus 10 is the same as 3.5 plus 10. So it becomes 13.5 I1 is equals to 112 minus 24 is 88. For us to get I1, we can divide all through by 13.5, 13.5, so that this one will cancel out. So our I1 becomes 88 over 13.5, which is 6.519 amperes. You can use your calculator to calculate that. Then after getting I1, I want to replace this in equation 1 so that I can now get the value of I2. Uh, I will have a 0 0.5 times I1, which is 6.519 plus 2 I2 is equals to 16. When you multiply this one, you will have 3.2593 plus 2 I2 is equals to 16. I want to remain with 16 uh, with I2 on this side. So I will have a I2 is equals to 16 minus 3.2593 all over 2. So when you work out this one, you find that your I2 is becoming 6.3704 amperes that is the value of i2 and then from Kirchhoff's current law we had seen that i1 is equals to i2 plus i3 so we already have i1 and i2 so we can obtain i3 so this i3 will be equals to i1 which is this this value 6.519 minus i2 which is is I2 6.3704 so when you subtract the two we have I3 as 0 0.1486 amperes that's what we have uh, thank you for watching please if you are new to my channel consider subscribing thank you